All right, my personal favorite part of the week today, joined by our legal expert, Walter Clark. Walter, how are you? Well, thank you, Fred. Good afternoon. All right, we've talked about a few legal issues on the show. We wanted your insight. First off, California lawmakers seek to put speed limiters on our vehicles. What do you make of that? I think it might be a good idea. It could be that it's going to be a matter of the uh, feds, the National Traffic Safety Board, uh, who is seeing more and more accidents resulting in deaths. Um, so they want to take some steps. And if we don't comply, perhaps uh, we could lose some funding. I think it wouldn't go into effect until 2027. So I think it might be a good idea. All right. Last night, we talked about shoplifting and a new three strikes law that is trying to be passed. So in other words, Three strikes, it doesn't matter what you've stolen, it could be $1,000, it could be 15 cents, you do it three times, you could go to jail. Will that law pass? It will, because it's politically popular. We've all been outraged by looking at these videos. What's um, significant to me, it reminds me of the law about avocados. If you steal them, they're, it's a felony. Uh, we already have a law in the books called burglary. If you enter a building with the intent to commit theft, it's a felony. It's a burglary. We don't need this law, but it's going to make everybody feel better politically. All right. And everybody talks about it, short-term rentals. We've talked about it quite a few times here on the show. Should a neighborhood's rules supersede the city? In Rancho Mirage, the HOA says, sure, you can rent out one of your rooms. The city says, we don't allow that. So should an HOA be able to tell the people that live there, sure, you can rent out a room and not have the city come knock on the door and say you're violating the law? They could try to do that, but it's an issue of preemption. You know, the hierarchy is our constitution at the top, the federal government, then the state governments, the county government. You can't have conflict between them. So, yes, uh, the, the municipality can easily make a rule that the homeowners association would have to have to follow. Uh, it's going to work. Uh, we can see rules that will be able to uh, adjust for this. It's great. We live in a place where everybody wants to be here. But uh, property rights are like the right of free speech. They can be controlled by federal law, by state law. Uh, you don't have the right to yell fire in the theater, do you? So, yes, the, the, the governments can control and limit your rights. Walter, great stuff. Appreciate your time today. Good talking to you, Fred. Thank you.